Hi, I'm going to show you how you can create your own presentations and slides very quickly using the presentation library. So first you want to make sure that you have the engage tab selected here at the top and from there just click on presentation library. So whether you're creating a business case, a business plan, a communications plan, a marketing plan, a pitch deck, a project plan, a project status, or a sales presentation, the idea is that you never have to start from scratch. And so if you select, for example, uh, one of these, the business case, uh, you can click on the insert button. This will open up this uh, presentation template. Uh, and so everything we've done here is using just standard PowerPoint shapes. Uh, so for example, you can easily update your uh, data here uh, to whatever um, value uh, makes sense for, for you. Uh, same idea here on this executive summary slide. You can easily just update whatever values uh, because these are just regular text boxes. Um, so uh, these presentations um, will most likely be already uh, brand customized for you. So they'll have your branded colors and your slide master already um, customized for you when you open the um, uh, presentation library. So in the event that uh, the slide you're looking for isn't uh, in this presentation, you can still click on uh, the slide library. So again, the idea is we've looked at tens of thousands of different presentations and we find that it's always the same slides. You always have uh, a title slide. You might have an agenda slide, uh, perhaps um, a dashboard slide of some sort, an executive summary slide, and uh, so on. So in the event that the slide that you want isn't in the presentation, um, you can still go and open the slide library and perhaps access it uh, via the uh, library. So in this case, I might add uh, this slide. So I'll simply click insert and that will uh, insert this slide for me. And again, it's the same idea. If I want to, I can just uh, click on any of these objects and update uh, the content and of course move things around uh, because these are again, just built using standard PowerPoint shapes. Um, so in the event that the uh, slide that you want isn't in the presentation library, it's not in the slide library, uh, you still have the option to uh, build that. Uh, but again, you don't have to build it from scratch. There's this concept called smart objects. So this is really helpful when you have ideas that you want to convey visually. Uh, so instead of maybe having four main ideas in the form of bullet points, you might grab um, one of these smart objects and just drag and drop it um, onto your slide or you can also double click on it and it'll insert it uh, directly onto your slide. So again, the same idea, you can update this to um, whatever you like. So maybe I type in cloud strategy. And uh, what I can do is I can also uh, select this icon and I can uh, delete this and I can also uh, right click and ungroup uh, this, all these shapes here. And so if I needed to remove uh, one of these uh, ideas and concepts, I could do that. I can obviously change the color and, and so on. Um, but what I want to show you now is the next level of um, design assets built in to engage. So if I close uh, the task pane, uh, what I want to do is I want to now show you the uh, most granular uh, level of design assets in engage, and that's the elements. So when I click on elements, you'll see, uh, in this case, uh, icons. There are uh, hundreds of icons to uh, choose from. Um, but if I wanted to replace the old icon I had here with a new one, I might uh, grab uh, this cloud icon. And again, I just resize this the way I would uh, any PowerPoint shape. And I can also um, color it um, the way I would uh, any PowerPoint shape. Uh, so in this case, I'll make it white so that it matches uh, the other icons. And um, when you're in this uh, category here for Engage Elements, you'll notice there's also uh, flow charts, uh, wireframes, and all these work the same way. You can just double click on them or you can just grab them and uh, drag them over um, to the slide and uh, you can uh, build your slides that way. Uh, and then finally, uh, there are other categories, but there are also Excel embedded charts uh, there as well. So this is the presentation and slide library along with the smart objects and elements. Thank you.